you know, in France where it's gone on for generations after generations, it's so automatic they don't even think about it. And they don't check bricks, they don't test the oil, it's just whatever comes out, so it goes in the container and it's shipped. And, but here, Utah, Ecuador, we do things different. We wash the bricks two, three, four times a day, every day, to see what's going on with the bricks level, because the bricks is the glucose in the plant. And the more glucose, the more oil is manufactured. Now, besides being uh, glucose in the plant, you also have the natural uh, chlorophylls in every plant, which is water. And so some plants, they will mix the chlorophyll with the glucose in producing oil. Many plants do not, they separate it. And so like lavender, that's why we lay it on the deck for three days, a minimum is so we can dehydrate the chlorophyll off. And that gives a higher concentration of the lavandulols and the lenolols and lenol acetates, which is what we really want in lavender. And if you distill it with its green, then you'll get a higher percentage of camphene, which could go up to maybe 0.5%. Uh, I've seen cases where lavender was distilled too green and went as high as 1% camphene. Uh, unlike lavender, it can go up as high as 21% lavender. Uh, 18 is about an average for lavender, and that's why you can't use lavender for treating burns because it'll increase the burn.